hey guys this is balu from balu prime and once again welcome you all back for an exciting tutorial in this tutorial i will show you how we can animate snake in blender easily so hope you guys will find the tutorial useful but before going to that if you end up liking this video please click on that like button do share this content and if you are new to this channel consider subscribing my channel and support me so further without any ado let's begin today's video so here you can see i'm using blender 2.92 nice so now let's select everything in this default scene by pressing a on the keyboard and delete so now first let's create our ground plane so go to this add mesh select this plane press s on the keyboard and increase the scaling here like this okay now press tab on the keyboard to enter edit mode right click subdivide so come here and let me increase the subdivisions to 50 or else let me increase to 60 okay so now let's create snow on this ground plane so we need to enable an add-on which comes with the blender itself so go to this edit preferences come to this add-on and such as snow so by default this will be unchecked enable it save those preferences and close okay so now select the ground plane press n on the keyboard here we will get this real snow option click on that real snow and coverage here i will be selecting 90 and height i will change it to 0.25 okay and click on this add snow so it takes some time to process this one so here you can see we got snow created on this ground plane so now let's import our 3d model snake 3d model here so i have downloaded this model from free3d.com download link in the description if you want to download the same so first let me import that one so go to this file import it is an object file so select this wavefront obj so here you can see we got our snake model here in object file so select it and import obj so here you can see we got the snake model here so let me bring it here press s to increase the scaling so let me place it just about over snow so press 3 and let me see here okay so let me place it the back so now let's create a path for this snake to travel so for that we'll be using a curve so go to this add curve select this path let me bring it here okay now let me rotate it so let me rotate it here 90 okay so now press tab on the keyboard here we can see we got this five vertices here so let me increase the count so right click and subdivide so now press s to increase the scaling once again so that we can cover the complete length okay now press 7 on the keyboard for top view so now let me adjust the path here so select this vertices enable this proportion option and let me move this curve here so if you want to increase the curve hold left mouse key and use your mouse scrolling button to increase the curve value here so here you can see we can increase or decrease the value okay so i think this is fine now let me select this one let me place it here let me select this one and let me place this here okay so now press tab on the keyboard to exit this edit mode fine so here you can see we got this curve so let me place this curve right onto this plane okay nice so let me hide out this ground plane for time being so that we can see what we are doing here okay so now select the snake come to this modifier options add modifier and add this curve modifier so in curve object select this path okay so you can see our snake is moving along the path so we need to animate now this one so let me at this place at the first frame so press i on the keyboard and place a keyframe for this location so let me show you so here you can see we got a keyframe so now move forward like 210 frames and let me move the snake here and let me place a keyframe by pressing i and location okay so if i play this we can see we got this keyframe here but the speed is not proper so starting you can see it starts off slow and picks up the pace and at the end it will come to the rest position with a slow pace so we need to fix that speed so being selected this both keyframes come to this graph editor key 
interpolation mode and change it to linear so now the speed will be constant okay fine so now let us bring back this plane and snow okay nice so here you can see we got the snake movement here but we are missing the traces of that snake movement on the snow so now let's do that one so for that we will be using dynamic paint so first select the snake come to this physics properties and apply dynamic paint so type change it to brush and add a brush now select the snow make sure the snow is selected come to this physics property once again add dynamic paint type leave it to canvas and click on this add canvas so scroll down enable this anti-aliasing frame rate 1 to 250 is ok and surface type change it to displace and come to this cache option so here we need to bake this simulation so it is grayed out so we need to save the project first to get this option so go, let me save this first so here we are saying that we are so scroll down what is your first command come to this cache so here you can see we are not getting this bake options because we have to save the project first so let me save that one so now you can see we got options to bake so now click on this bake button so in this way we can create this kind of snake movement animations in blender easily so hope you guys have learned something new from this tutorial if you have learned anything new please like share and subscribe my channel to support me so we'll meet in the next video until then signing off take care bye